You may have heard the term deep sleep before, but what does it actually mean? I mean, how can sleep be, well, deep? Deep sleep is one of the four sleep stages, and it's part of the night when your body takes the time for repairing and restorative functions that are necessary to feel your best each day. Do you have trouble learning or making new memories? Do you feel drowsy and inattentive in the morning? Well, you might need more deep sleep. But how much deep sleep do you need? And what happens when you don't get enough? There are four stages in the sleep cycle. There's stage one, stage two, deep sleep, and REM sleep. You'll move through these stages between four to six times per night. Deep sleep is that all-important recovery mode. It's during deep sleep that your body repairs itself to get ready for tomorrow. It helps with muscle growth, immunity, and memory. Deep sleep is also known as slow-wave sleep. That's because the electrical activity in the brain appears in long, slow waves. Wow, how original. You'll typically slip into slow wave within an hour of falling asleep. Your breathing and heart rate slow, your muscles relax, and your body gets ready to rebuild. Each sleep stage plays a critical role in your overall health. During deep sleep, your body releases growth hormones that help repair muscles, bone, and tissue. It's why athletes put so much stock into slow wave sleep, as it keeps them in competitive shape. But deep sleep doesn't just rebuild your body, it helps regulate and store memories as well. We get bombarded with information all day, especially in the digital age. Your brain simply can't retain all that information without proper rest. Researchers believe that during deep sleep, your brain evaluates new memories and preserves the most important ones. Your new boss's name? Yeah, we'll keep that. The color of the shirt some random girl at the coffee shop was wearing? Nah, get rid of it. All of these theories are still under investigation, but evidence has shown that people get more deep sleep after learning a new task. They also show higher concentrations of slower brain waves in areas related to that task. Adults should get at least seven hours of sleep each night. So before calculating how much deep sleep you need, make sure you're getting enough sleep in general. Your body has a funny way of self-regulating deep sleep. If you're sleep deprived, you'll get more, and if you take frequent naps, you'll get less. On average, a healthy adult should spend between 13 and 23% of their night in slow wave sleep. So if you get eight hours, you should be getting between one and two hours of cumulative deep sleep. You'll get less deep sleep as you age. In fact, older adults spend most of their night in stage two or light sleep. Not getting enough deep sleep can leave you feeling fatigued in the morning. You'll also have a hard time remembering things, and even one night of insufficient deep sleep can make learning that much harder. Physically, a lack of deep sleep can hurt your immune system. Research found that limited deep sleep can leave you vulnerable to infection and decrease your immune response to vaccines. Your brain also uses deep sleep to eliminate the waste products it produces. That's why a lack of deep sleep has been linked to neurological conditions like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Deep sleep deprivation can drive your appetite for high calorie foods as well. Studies have found that insufficient slow-wave sleep can lead to type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Thankfully, catching up on deep sleep may reverse those negative effects. If you're wondering if you're not getting enough deep sleep, ask yourself the following questions. Do you wake up feeling drowsy and unrefreshed? Do you feel inattentive, like you're suffering an alertness debuff? Do you struggle to form new memories or learn new skills? Are you craving high calorie foods? If your answers are yes, 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 and yes, then you're probably not getting enough deep sleep. But if you're not quite getting the prescribed amount of deep sleep, don't worry. There are some tricks you can try to improve your percentages. First and foremost, sticking to a consistent sleep-wake schedule is crucial to developing a healthy sleep routine. Your body self-regulates. It knows when it's time for bed and when to wake up in the morning. If you keep messing with it by staying out late and randomly sleeping in, it won't know what to do. Next, make sure you're practicing healthy sleep habits. These include regular exercise, maintaining a cool, dark, and quiet bedroom, forming a relaxing wind-down routine at night, and avoiding caffeine after lunch, and alcohol before bed. You can also try changing up your diet. Studies found that people with diets high in saturated fats get less deep sleep. On the other hand, people eating fiber-rich diets get more deep sleep. Also, try taking a warm bath or shower before bed. The warmth draws heat to your hands and feet as that heat dissipates, your body cools to a comfortable sleep temperature. Next, put on some music to help you relax and wind down for the night. And if music gets you too amped or it's just not your thing, have you ever tried binaural beats? They work by listening to two slightly different tones in each ear. The difference in frequency creates a perceived third tone, aka a binaural beat. Some research has found that these frequencies help induce delta waves in the brain, thus more deep sleep. 
Type Binaural Beats into Spotify, Apple Music, or whatever you use. It'll pop right up, I promise. Unfortunately, you can't just adjust your sleep sliders to get more deep sleep. Your body follows a strict rhythm and you have to set the tempo. Good sleep hygiene practices will lead to more deep sleep. And if you want to learn more about how to tell good sleep from bad sleep, we have a video all about that right here. Thanks for watching everyone. Sleep well.